Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. The topic for this video is going to go in depth into XLATE Lookup. XLATE Lookup is the second and fifth phase of the packet inspection process Cisco ASAs perform on incoming packets. Before we go into why XLATE is inspected in two different phases in the ASA packet inspection process, let's first define exactly what XLATE Lookup is. The ASA firewall maintains a translation table for every protected host on the protected network that can participate in, in connections. This translation table is also called an XLATE table. A host XLATE entry can be created in the XLATE table by one of two ways. The first way is dynamically, which is automatically created as new connections are initiated, and the second way is statically. A host XLATE entry in the XLATE table can be statically defined before any active connections are formed. However, that XLATE static entry is not actually created and used until the traffic defined in that XLATE entry passes through the firewall and forms a connection using that statically defined XLATE entry. Take a moment to look at the diagram below. This diagram is going to help me explain the concept behind XLATE. Let's say, for example, there is a host on the internet using public IP address 2.3.4.5 and it's wanting to communicate to the host on the back side of our firewall 192.168.100.23 the host on the outside of the firewall is called the foreign address and the host on the inside of the firewall is called the local address okay so here's where it gets cool and xlate comes into play that internal local protected IP address that's going to get translated by the ASA firewall is going to use that xlate entry and it's going to make that local address appear as if it's on the outside of the firewall as opposed to behind the firewall. The reason why the ASA does this is so that that local address appears to the foreign address that it's actually a global address and not the local protected address on the back side of the firewall. Alright, so now that XLIT entries are explained, let's go back to that initial statement in the beginning of this video about why there are two phases to XLIT in the packet inspection process. The reason why there are two is because there are two different ways in which connections can flow. You either have inbound connections or you have outbound connections. The direction of the traffic is the variable that decides what phase XLATE is going to be inspected on. The second phase in the inspection process is used for outbound connections only, and the fifth phase in the inspection process is used for inbound connections. For outbound connections, which are initiated from the inside going out, the local address is being used to build that connection entry. For inbound connections, which is going from outside in, the exact opposite actually happens. All connections and access list operations must look at that global address, so that's why it needs to happen in phase 5, after the ACL lookup and the connection lookup phase. The last aspect to XLATE entries I would like to discuss are the different parameters that the Cisco ASA allows you to define. You have the ability to define the maximum amount of active connections allowed to use an XLATE entry. The default is unlimited. You also have the ability to define the maximum amount of embryonic connections, which are essentially half open connections in the connection table on the firewall. The default in that case is unlimited as well. And last, you have the ability to define the idle timeout period. I will definitely be making additional videos in the future going more in depth into the configurations regarding XLATE. Until then, thank you for watching. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.